when I pull it, put it into it, I see the different swirling around. That's like my palette. I can actually see it happening. You know, I can see the darker spots, the lighter spots. Coffee is my medium. Is asked like, art? Do you, do you draw? And I say, coffee is my. The whole thing kind of is a joke because they dissipate after a while because it's going to be gone in like three minutes. I kind of really want to something interesting, fun for the pretenders out of it, seriousness. It actually sprouted from a unique situation, which is me working in the back of this hotel with an espresso machine and all this equipment for hours and hours. I kind of realized I could manipulate the coffee. When I started doing it, I would come up with just faces at first, and then people got really excited about it. It's like the beginning of a lot of I can't draw coffee. I tried to and it worked out. Almost every week I come up with a new technique or I find out something different that I can do. And I actually started doing this a long time ago and I took a break for like five months. I like self like, you know, sickness. I like, these aren't good. I don't want to want to do this yet. I'm going to stop and practice and get better at it before I post anymore. So I had a Tumblr for a while and I stopped posting. For months. I started doing the picture people and they get excited about it. So I kind of doing it again, practicing to get better at it before I like put myself out there and did it. This doesn't last forever. I think that's what makes it special. You know, that's what makes it something normal to me. I actually did it for the to see. I do really do it for myself to have in my opinion or whatever like that. It's it's purely for them. It's personal, you know.